Today, I'll be talking about comedy, ignorance, or desperation. There's a way the current government of our country acts that begs certain questions consistently. The sort of information spewed forth from the trio of Lai Mohammed, Garba Shehu, and Femi Adeshino reminds us that nothing has really changed, even from the time the likes of Ruben Abati and Shegun Adeni worked in the same offices. Or even further back to Comrade Chukume Rije or Walter Fonagoro of NTA. And so the sort of information we are currently receiving accounts us in no small measure, in particular the borrowing habits of governments that shows no shame. Now, why would anybody lend to a government whose representatives steal from her? Simple, it may seem, but the more you, you lend to this nation, the tighter you make the stranglehold you have on her. And that's why ill-intentioned banks and aid organizations continue to lend to Nigeria. But lately, it's actually the ideas for borrowing or taxation that really raise eyebrows. There's a choice between stupidity, comedy, or brigandage as appropriate terms to describe a government that will now borrow pension fund money, tax Nigerians in diaspora, borrow unclaimed dividends, or borrow money in dormant bank accounts. My goodness, what is all this about? Why do you take this route only to steal at least half these sums and then be unable to repay in the long term? As banks in this country are run by government chicken boys, to borrow fellas terminology, there has been no resistance to these measures. After all, the chief executives all aspire to be central bank governor, and that's the story of Nigeria, and the reason the current CBN governor is also tongue-tied. Our nation's debt profile is now very poor. We inflate all contracts from roads to rail, from information to industry. The government has no plans to be productive, but pretends to seek to stop dependency on importation. Now, how will this be achieved if we all, if all we do is steal? Nigeria's debt stands at $86 billion as at June last year. And when you consider the economy is underreported and underindexed, and that the informal economy is not recorded, our debt actually exceeds that. And especially when you consider things like opportunity cost. My wish is for a reduction in public expenditure on staff reduction of numbers on salary package, the sheer number of legislators, federal, state, and local government, the president, his vice, governors, their deputies, their assistants, and advisors, parastatal executives and their assistants and advisors, party infrastructure and staff, outrageous gifts to judges, Ghana must go bribes, dual level foreign forex rates, a petroleum industry steeped in corruption, a power sector that is now a cash cow for private sector investors, there are huge problems we face, and the banks are complicit in all these transactions, but will not speak out. So let's start the process to stop others laughing at Nigeria. This nation should not be such a joke. Well, it's, it's a joke already. <laughs> the nation is a joke well, already. Laughing, no, no. And people are actually laughing. laughing. Well, the, well, just this week, someone said Nigeria is fast becoming the capital for insecurity, for it bandits, or yeah. banditry in West Africa. It's in the world. A, you know, no, it can't be in the world. That's in West Africa alone, it's, it's just well, mind-boggling. Well, well, we're catching up to the worst That's places. A huge you, you, you and we see, don't even have a war. Seriously, um, as beautiful as um, the um, Financial Act 2020 is, government just spoils it with these um, um, outrageous um, sections to borrow funds in dormant accounts and huh. um, unclaimed dividend uh, to be managed by the debt management office. And I ask a very simple question. Yes, you've identified these funds. Um, there is no privity of contract between the owner of such funds and uh, the debt government. management office. The privity is between money. them and the bank and then the um, security houses. Secondly, we also know the cumbersome nature of even seeking letters of administrations in Nigeria. Difficult. So there are even some people now who have been in the process of processing such letters for three years. And so if they realized that this is what they can do to assess the money, maybe four years after, in three years they are there. So they would have been caught up with this six years thing. And then government takes this phone. And then you go to the bank tomorrow, the bank says, well, the money is with government. We need to write to them to mm -hmm. release the fund. Oh, and then you're there for another, another one year. Years. Even the one you contributed, contributory pension, I can tell you authoritatively, as a government official, 
you will need after retirement you will need at least one year plus to assess that fund even though even if you are up to the age for assessing it you will need one year to do all the paperwork not to talk of the one that is borrowed so like chuka said why do you need to borrow when half of the money will be stolen Anybody. so if you plug loopholes and then you reduce costs of governance this money you want to borrow to finance budget, you will have it. You will not have it in surplus. My, my worry is this is in Nigeria that was completely debt-free before this administration I know, it's a country over. well as... No, um, not this administration. Maybe no, no. The, no, which, no, no, which one? Uh, um, the Obasanjo administration with the well well before the, Jonathan. Yeah, the, before yeah but the, the, the impunity with which this present administration borrows... From it's China. just mind Borrowing is not no, bad, but really. Yes, that's the thing. What I, are you borrowing for? No, no, we I, can't I don't see anything. No, no, I, I, just, I, I, I wanted you guys to learn. See, um, what I thought we would be uh, focusing on is holding them accountable. What are you borrowing this that's money for? That's the question for? I asked now. What are we borrowing Do you understand? But borrowing for? itself, it's How not you bad. To pay back? Right. We have, we can see... Uh, the real project that's going on. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's not even going on Jonathan's side. No, but it no, is. They are not it is funded. It, no, they are no. funded from a, um, a, you know, Chinese, a third party. But we have party. to pay. We have to pay that money back. We have, but not now. We are not paying it now. Yeah, we have to they are still they are still borrowed money. So if you anyhow. borrow, no, no. Yeah, so then you I agree with you, said the people before the We should have we should set the record straight. Yeah. Yes. Let's focus. Those monies are borrowed. Let's focus on the payment plan period is not now. So, it's 30 mm. years, so, but you See, want to get everything in two years and kill the yeah, people. I want to focus no, no, on what Libro said. Allow yes, Sado, I, I, I wanted, no, allow I, Sado, I, want, I, wanted, okay, I wanted to say something. that Look, um, this government came in with oil, price of oil at how much? Less than $40, right? <laughs> they didn't have money, right? Now, they didn't we've have had... Any debt? Allow yeah, me, yeah there, there were so many issues. I'm not trying to absolve them of... Uh, you know, corruption and all. They've had their issues. However, I will still go back to our constitution. All these problems you're talking about, the cost of governance is not something that uh, the president can change on his own. No. It's a constitutional but matter. But it's easy to tell us right. to go and kill for mm. So tomorrow, these are tomorrow. the problems. These are structural no, no, problems we Sedu. have as a people. There is no constitution that says you must have 100 SA and 200 SSAs. It's, there's I no say constitution. Broadly, there's the constitution says you must have yeah. one minister from all the Look, states. leave the yeah, ministers now. No, it's part of leave the, the, wait. No, the ministers are still leave even manageable. Leave wait, yeah. there is no constitution. And the ministers have SSA. Yes, have SSA. there is no they constitution that says the minister will have 10 SSA and SAs. Uh, yeah. So, what I'm saying, there's all a lot of duplication in government. All of this adds to the body. And that increases the cost. Deal with the ones that are not constitutional. Now, if you go down, those are that's the buck. A situation where a governor, for example, will have 1,000 SSAs. What are you exactly. doing with them? Just because you have to satisfy it is not everybody a that provision. Do you know, money to your I, campaign. I, I, there's something I mentioned that very soon Nigerians will begin, this year, will begin to feel the bite because the country is broke. Now, government will look inward, start taxing people. Now, downsize. would expect that, would it's begin so to hold our leaders from local government right down to the president, so I haven't really said hold them anything. accountable. So when you hold them in this accountable. COVID situation, we found out that we could do business from anywhere you were, and so that reduced the cost, for example, of That's having huge global. offices. For example, I'm just saying, so why are we still retaining large numbers of people? The civil service is a huge drain, just the civil service, not the political alone. class alone. We have duplication of, of work passing files from one person to the other for no reason, makes no sense to me. So I know that we can change even by reforming and reorganizing what it is now, billions of naira, if we really are serious to reform. Well, okay, well, however we look at it, government needs to create innovative ways to fund projects. I'm discussing strong institutions after the break. Mm -hmm.